Now we will discuss regarding medical adherence in a diabetic patient. Medical adherence means taking the right dose in the right pill at the right time. If the person takes the right proper medical dosages, then there are less chances of developing complications in the form of repeated hospitalization, coma, and even sometimes death. So one has to maintain a proper medical adherence in the form of a medical calendar or a pill container wherein the person keeps the proper tablets and takes the right dose at the right time. A person who develops HB1C or he maintains HB1C less than 7 is supposed to have a good diabetes control. The most of the time in our country, the biggest barrier to the medical adherence therapy is the cost factor, poverty, overwork and sluggishness and lack of interest. So all these factors need to be considered and a person has to strictly adhere to medical adherence so as to prevent complications and death. Today we will discuss about diabetes and family. Diabetes mellitus develops in a person with a genetic susceptibility. Along with that, there are certain environmental factors, lifestyle modification features, which decides whether the person will develop diabetes or not. Is type 1 diabetes hereditary? Yes. It is because of the formation of autosomal antibodies. Type 2 diabetes is also hereditary because of the insulin resistance and then there is maturity onset diabetes and diabetes due to mitochondrial defects which can also cause a person to develop diabetes. Any person who is overweight with a family history of diabetes, a history of high cholesterol, high blood pressure, family history of diabetes, gestational diabetes and a history of polycystic ovarian disease, these are the people who develop diabetes in their lifestyle. In identical twins, suppose the first person is having diabetes, the second person may not develop diabetes, his chances are only 3 in 4, provided if he maintains a good lifestyle, maintains a proper weight, diet, then he may not develop diabetes in all the cases. discuss regarding diabetes mellitus in a female patient. Female patient who develop diabetes, they are more likely to develop severe complications. The earlier age the female develops diabetes, the more the complication, the more the cardiovascular complication, kidney complication, blindness, depression are all seen in female patient with diabetes mellitus. Those females who develop diabetes during the pregnancy, they are called as gestational diabetes, wherein the sugar remains high in first few weeks of pregnancy and it continues to remain high till delivery. Now, which are the female patients who are likely to develop gestational diabetes? A female who is having her BMI or body mass index more than 23, less activity with cholesterol of more than 250, blood pressure more than 130, and a history of polycystic ovarian disease or a cardiovascular disease in the family, they are likely to develop the gestational diabetes. Female patients who have developed diabetes, they also develop early menopause and hence due to hormonal imbalance are likely to develop more complications. Lastly, we will discuss regarding lifestyle modification in a diabetic patient. Mainly, they should be in the form of nutrition and diet. A diabetic patient should eat a balanced meal, which includes a low fiber, high fiber, and a low carbohydrate diet. Any diet has got carbohydrate, proteins, and fats. One has to eat non refined sugars to the minimal extent because carbohydrates directly get converted to sugar. Proteins are known to increase the insulin action, so they are also known to cause weight loss. And healthy fats, nuts, oats has to be included in diet. Fresh fruits, vegetables has to be included in diet. A low sugar, a 
लो हाई फाइबर डाइट हैज टू बी प्रिवेंट द डाइट टू प्रिवेंट द कॉम्प्लिकेशन एक्सरसाइज मिनिमल एक्सरसाइज ऑफ हाफ एन आवर डेली इज नोट टू प्रिवेंट डायबिटीज एंड इट्स कॉम्प्लिकेशन एंड लास्ट लास्ट बट द लीस्ट इज अवॉइडिंग द स्ट्रेस वन कैन अवॉइड स्ट्रेस बाई डूइंग प्रॉपर हॉबीज एक्सरसाइजेस हैविंग अ पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड इन लाइफ एंड properly doing yogas hence the diabetes and its complications can be prevented by all these things namely the diet yoga and exercise